Well, now that it's fall, folks want to combine stuff. Pumpkin and spice and trick, treat and fall and carnival and all that kind of thing. But you want to make sure you get the right combo or things go wrong. But I have a message for you. Slow down, America. Last week at our city hall, we had a chili cook-off. And you hear that, you think, boy, that's a good thing. I should go for a chili cook-off. That's right. And there's a chili cook-off and a square dance. And even on paper, that sounds good. But then what comes next ain't good at all. Sure, you want to celebrate the season, but you don't want to end up with a mess on your hands or anywhere else. And that's kind of what happened last week with the chili cook-off and the square dance. We had crock pots of chili, men made chili, ladies made chili, young women, old men, uh, young men, old women, everybody, Church of Christ, Baptist, boy, they all came out for the chili cook-off and the square dance. Of course, the Baptists didn't participate in the dancing, but they were there. Turned out better for them in the end, I guess. So they danced a little bit, but that chili was fierce, and it was thick, and it was spicy, and it sat heavy. A couple hours later, the floodgates opened. And City Hall, for being a big building, the bathrooms ain't big there, boy. There's a lot of people in line that night, too. Elroy Dimple, buddy, he shuffled off the dance floor, and it wasn't subtle. You know how when you have a choice to either embarrass yourself or really embarrass yourself? It's like if a bee lands on your shoulder, you can freak out and kind of get it and everything and look a little silly. Or you can let it sting you and look really silly, screaming and hollering and just throwing a fit and crying because of all that. Well, Elroy knew he either had to shuffle off that dance floor or have just a bigger mess on his hands and embarrassment. So he, he got out there. And then Cheryl Grubbs was out there and she clenched up so bad her brother and her fiance had to get out there and just carry her off. Well, she's stiff as anything. She said later, if I had unclenched, I, they would have had to tear up that dance floor and burn it. She goes, my insurance don't cover that. Nothing like that, that emergency diarrhea or whatever. But don't it sound like a good idea? Hey, let's have a chili cook-off and a square dance. And boy, it's a perfect combination. That ain't the perfect combination. I can tell you that right now. Hey, this is just last week. There's folks that had accidents. You see them in town now and the topic comes up and they'll excuse themselves. They don't want to talk about it. They cast their eyes at the floor. You know, it ain't their fault. Just, we didn't think this through, y'all. You know, and that's how you learn. But they say what don't kill you make you stronger. And nobody died from this, so I would guess at this point, our town is the strongest town in the county. So whatever you do, pick the right combo. You staple gun my neck because you were upset. That was my cue to run. Now I'm unemployed and my friends are all annoyed. I'm living in a big truck.